Overlord! Lift your power up! A maelstrom! I will not falter! Did not. Moonlight, lend me your power! The wrath of a maelstrom! Oh, almighty Silver, watch over us from above. And protect the peace and balance of this world of chaos. Oh, sheltering light, shine upon us. As your silver buds bloom, Sealing the great shadow in the deepest depths. Are you aware of where your power comes from and how it is being used? Pure vanilla cookie? What are you saying? The power of virtue, purified by the witches themselves. The soul jam that you harness. You are not the first to wield that power. The same goes for the other ancient heroes. What? The ancient heroes? Are not the true owners? Of their soul jam? Well then, who is? The story begins when this very silver tree was only a small sapling. When the world of desserts was at its infancy. The witches baked five cookies to help them in their creation of the world. Harness the radiance bestowed upon you for the betterment of this world. And the five cookies, imbued with absolute powers, walked earthbred as almighty envoys of the great creators. Knowledge, volition, happiness, change, and solidarity. The desert world bound by these five virtues was nothing short of paradise. So those five cookies were the original owners of the Soul Jam? Huh. Those five virtues are different from those of the Soul Jams. Alas, the perfect age was short-lived. Absolute power begets nothing but arrogance. It inevitably corrupts its wielder, bringing them to the most tragic of ends. A fate even the witches were unable to foresee. One by one, the five, once regarded as saviors of the cookie world, gradually turned to darkness. And thus, the five virtues, too, became distorted, twisted, Reduced to deceit, apathy, sloth, destruction. Deceit, apathy, sloth, destruction, and silence. Ooh, that sounds really scary. Now known as the Five Beasts, the Apostles of Evil began their dark crusade. And forth they brought great destruction and suffering. The witches could not bear to see what fate had befallen their creations. They punished the beasts by sealing them away deep within this land, and planted the seed of the silver tree to ensure their evil power never sees the light of day again. From then on, this land where the beasts were put to sleep was called Beast Yeast. The witches then gathered the last vestiges of power bestowed upon the beasts, untouched by their corruption. They further cleansed, purified it, and in the end, Soul Jam was created. The purest Soul Jam was meant to be earned by cookies who had proven themselves worthy. One of them is the light of truth that you received at the end of your long, arduous journey down the pilgrim's path. Before, both truth and deceit existed within the light of knowledge. Cleansing and purifying it created the soul jam that you wield today. 
This means the power of deceit is now... Yes. It remains sealed somewhere in beast yeast. And yet, your light of truth serves another purpose, which is to balance the scales of good and evil to ensure the beasts stay confined. The tree has five main branches. Seems like they represent the soul jam of each ancient hero. They're so shiny! But one of them looks dimmer than the other. One by one, four of the soul jams regained their strength. But for a long time, all of these branches were close to wilting. After the Dark Flower War, when all the soul jams have been shattered into pieces and scattered all across the world, during that long period of imbalance, the five beasts saw it as an opportunity to regain their strength. Huh? They recovered in such a short time? As the Guardian, I channeled all my power to keep the seal intact. But my strength alone was not enough and the beasts have already grown much too strong. Now, this great evil lies hidden somewhere in beast yeast, ready to strike at any moment. Is there a way to prevent the beasts from escaping? Our last hope is to bring back the fifth ancient hero, White Lily Cookie, and her Light of Freedom. If we are able to do so, we just might be able to repress the evil forces sealed here in Beast Yeast. Oh, is that really possible? Although the light of freedom may be scattered across Beast Yeast, White Lily Cookie's branch on the Silver Tree still shines brightly as ever. Not all may be lost. Perhaps there is still a way to gather the Light of Freedom and restore it to its full glory. But, as of now... So we can revive White Lily Cookie by gathering all the shards of the Light of Freedom? I can hear it. The voice of the Light of Freedom speaks to me. Really? Is that really true? Then there is hope for us still. There is no time to waste. The beasts may yet escape and bring the great calamity upon us. And Dark Enchantress Cookie, whom you have been chasing endlessly, will not let such an opportunity pass. Pure Vanilla Cookie, you must gather the shards. White Lily Cookie's Light of Freedom the last hope Dark Enchantress Cookie has yet to corrupt. <laughs>